I want to welcome all of you to Maiden, North Carolina for a special occasion for the Carolina Non-Wovens Division of National Spinning Company. And I know many of you came from long distances. Uh, I see so many friends. Uh, and just thank you for being here. Uh, it, it means a lot to us. This is the official opening of this new facility. Uh, you must know we have been in production here for about four months. Uh, but we did complete the move of one of the production lines from our old Lincolnton plant to this plant last week. Uh, there's so many people that made this day possible that uh, we would probably get through lunchtime if I took everyone individually. So I'm going to recognize a few people individually and a few as a group and everyone as a team. Uh, first and absolutely the most important are the associates that work in this plant. And everyone that works here... seated stand. Come on guys, stand up. <laughs> and Ed Hull, and where is Ed? Who's the director of operations here? <laughs> and to Donald Kennedy, our corporate engineer. Hewlettville, North Carolina, and I'll talk about that more in a minute. Secondly, our loyal customers are here, and some customers from our other three divisions. Uh, National Spinning Company has plant yarn plants in Beulahville, Whiteville, Burlington, and a distribution center in Kinston. Are you beginning to get the theme? It's all North Carolina. Yeah. We have another division, Hampton Art Inc., that's, that's in the craft markets, that is headquartered in Washington, North Carolina. And in addition, our corporate office is in Washington. Uh, we acquired this business in March of 2012 and began operations in Lincolnton, and it become apparent very, very quickly that we liked the non-woven business, and likely we needed some additional capacity. There were many benefits that we could uh, that that we could, could see if we could get everything in one roof. So we began to look for building, and subsequently for land. And we had a couple of criteria early on. One was it had to be somewhere close enough to our existing plant that all of the employees that work for us would have the option to come here and work without having an undue issue in the length of the drive they would have to make to find employment. And Many of the, all, all the people you see here today are those that had worked in our plant in Lincolnton and now they're in Maiden in a new plant. Uh, we didn't find a building. Found one that we thought about doing some rehab work on and, and, and Governor, the, the Department of Commerce and Pat Mitchell were going to make it possible for us to rehab an old building, but it just didn't make sense. So. We called a good friend of mine, Robert Dunn, with the Trump Corporation. Is Robert here yet? I, I know he was running late, but he's coming. I said, Robert, we need, we need a plant site. So he called me and said, I want you to come to Maiden. And I was on my first call, first trip here from, uh, and by the way, I knew where Catawba County was because I, li I lived here in 1969 and 70. But my first trip here, it occurred to me about the time I came through Kinston that I needed to make a phone call 
and try to find someone that might tell us how to get through the trees and, and the wilderness in Catawba County. And a friend of mine with commerce had said, call Julie. So I called Julie in the Catawba County, the Catawba County Economic Development Corporation. I said, Julie, I'm on the way to Maiden. Can you meet me here in 30 minutes? She never clue who I was. And Donna was here waiting for us when we arrived on this plant. Uh, Julie was here, and Donna had given me her name. Donna Phillips had given me her name. And she was here waiting when we arrived. So Julie, stand up. <laughs> She is dedicated to the creation of investment and jobs in Catawba County and could not have been more helpful to us. This piece of property is in what will be, we hope, an industrial park with other tenants. It was a former site for Carolina Mills spinning plant, the J.W. Abernathy spinning plant. My good friend, uh, George Moretz of Carolina, and did George get here yet, Ed? Uh, I have seen George is coming. George Moretz and Brian Bill, uh, we made contact with them, and we agreed that we would buy this piece of property. This was in April of 2015, and I asked you to, or, or, or urge you to take a look at the video and you'll see the timeline on how we got to where we are today. So, on April the 23rd, Julie arranged for representatives from the town of Maiden, the county of Catawba, and some others to be in our plant in Burlington, North Carolina. And literally, Donald, this was on the back of an envelope on April the 23rd, 2015. And we had been recommended to Matthews Construction Company. And they're here today. And we talked about it, and talked about the tight timetable because as we're so prone to do, we had already bought the equipment. It was being manufactured <laughs> in, uh, in Italy and, and France. So we looked at the timetables, and the Matthews team said we can do that. And I won't bore you with the details of the project, but even a blind hog finds an acre in a cage. <laughs> and we found Matthews Construction Company. And they're all here today. Bob, Gary, Andy, and Donnie Johnson, who was the project superintendent. You all stand up. <laughs> and if there are any of the subcontractors that were involved in this building, stand up. Because we couldn't have done it without you. We walked out of the meeting on April the 23rd, and on a handshake, Matthews ordered the steel, right? He ordered the steel on a handshake. On the day before Thanksgiving, we had the certificate of occupancy for this building, $94,000. We couldn't have done it without you, Dennis. Fantastic. Uh, <coughs> are my bankers here yet? Yeah, our bankers. One here, one is here. Uh, thank you very much. Wells Fargo is our banker. And uh, I can't tell you how cooperative they were and, and, and how close we are with our banking relation, relationship. Governor, I know you're a huge supporter of economic development because we have to have investment, we have to create jobs in North Carolina. And more importantly, we need to create jobs in the East and the West because it seems to me that, that the Triangle and, and Charlotte are doing okay. So we're just delighted that we can be uh, creating some jobs in the West. 
the government agencies that we work with, the Department of Commerce, have been fantastic. Uh, special recognition for Mayor Robert Smyre, Town Manager Todd Hearns. Is, town, is, is, is Todd here? Uh, Todd, uh, County Commissioner Eisenhower, Chairman, and Tom Lundy of the staff of Catawba County. And again, I don't have to say the Catawba County Economic Development Corporation. Uh, it all turned out okay. We will have between 65 and 70 people here when we get this all cranked up and are running uh, seven days a week, 24 hours a day. <laughs> Certainly not the biggest project that my good friend, Governor Pat, has had an opportunity to be present for uh, a day like this, but one that's extremely important to our country. Now, as, as we decided we wanted to do this, there's one other group that played an important role that I want to recognize today, and that's our Board of Directors. Uh, our Chairman Emeritus and his wife are here from New York. Morgan Miller and Margie, stand up. stand also. <laughs> we came down from New York. Bob Miller. <laughs> Linda Fanton, our CFO. <laughs> Jim Budaball, our President and Chief Operating Officer. And our newest director who attended his first board meeting yesterday, Venom Portahemi. <laughs> Associate Dean of Industry and Research, William Klopman, Distinguished Professor, Executive Director of the Non Women's Institute at North Carolina State University. And we are so excited to have Venom on our board because we think that he's going to add a great deal. The, the success and the future success that we've had in the non business. So again, I want to say thank you to you all for being here, and I want to give the, the mayor an opportunity to say welcome on behalf of the town, and uh, then the <coughs> chairman of the county commissioners on behalf of Catawba, and then we'll have the act, the governor of North Carolina, <laughs> and I have I have about three pages that I'll introduce in just a second. Thank you, Mr. Jeffrey, and welcome everyone to the town of May. Is this going through? Could everyone hear me? Yes. You know, he took a lot of words when I first got here. Uh, he told me I had 20 minutes, but I believe he said everything what he wanted to say in a few minutes. I could tell you my whole life story in two minutes. <laughs> but uh, it is a privilege to be here today to have such a grand opening as we have in Maiden. Uh, I'm glad he told the process, and uh, my town manager told me, he said, don't forget Julie Brewer. <laughs> said she done an awful lot of work in Scott and a little story in behind all of this is uh, over the past few years the county commissioner the chairman of the county commissioner Randy and especially I give a lot of credit to my council in Maiden they're very progressive and if it's if you're ready to come to Maiden we're ready to deal with you <laughs> and, and we're going to make it easier and Kitty Barnes there on the county commissioner we worked real hard together and we thank the governor for the grant that we got from North Carolina through things like that to make it available for us. Uh, we are a, a very small town, and Mr. Chestnut said, more likely said he'd never heard of Maiden, but I'll bet you he has now. And, and uh, all of you that are coming here for the first time, we welcome you back, and we thank you for everything that you do in our county, and God bless you. Thank you, Mr. 
Mr. Mayor. I said, I've got 20 minutes and I've got 15 of your minutes. Too. Right. <laughs> yeah, this, this is a special site, as Mr. Chestnut said. Over 100 years ago, a family in Catawba County had a vision. They took a risk. They had an entrepreneurial spirit and a dedication and probably a lot of prayers. They developed a very successful company. And one of their sites was right here. That's the Red State of Carolina Mills. And through the decades, Catawba County has had that entrepreneurial spirit. And that's just one example of the many companies and manufacturers we have throughout this county. And with our great workforce, Catawba County has a tremendous heritage of manufacturing. Mr. Chesson, we appreciate your company being part of that, of that heritage. And the county of Catawba, and, and Ms. Barnes, and the, one of our commissioners with us, certainly appreciates the opportunity that we've been given to participate here. Um, we, we love working with the town of Maine. I was a town of Maine's lawyer for about 20 years. So Bob, Bob the legend Smire was my boss. <laughs> and, and I learned a whole lot about good local government from uh, Mayor Smire and uh, his council people. And Governor, we appreciate your participation, uh, your, your vision, the contributions the Governor and his administration have made, not only to this project, but to economic development throughout this state are tremendous. And our state is there for it. Thank you. For that. And to uh, Mr. Chesson, you and your government, congratulations to your success, your expansion. This is a state-of-the-art facility, uh, with a state-of-the-art company, uh, built by a Catawba County-owned construction company, family-owned construction company, <coughs> Matthews Construction. Uh, and we appreciate your contribution to, to this also everybody making it work. Uh, and I'm convinced that we appreciate the faith that uh, Carolina non Wovens has given to Catawba County in locating here. And I am, am certain that this will be a long, prosperous, prosperous relationship for all of us. So thank you. I know where he was yesterday. He was in Rocky Mount making a big announcement that's going to be something extremely good for Eastern North Carolina. And we still have a lot of roots in Eastern North Carolina. I could say a lot about Pastor Roy, but I'm not because we know who he is. And if we don't believe that this state's in good hands, I just ask you to look with me at the numbers of what's happened in the last four years in terms of where we are fiscally, where, what we've done with education, where we are in job creation, where we are in investment, and a multitude of other issues that have been attacked head on, uh, led by Pat McCroy. So, Pat, delighted you to be here. First, thank uh, Carolina Not Woven. Uh, your incredible leader that you have right here. What a visionary leader that you have. And let me tell you right now, the board of directors and their chairman and their new board member. I, I served on a board. Man, you thank you very much. Uh, I served on a board of directors for a manufacturing company before I was governor in Statesville, North Carolina. I know the margins are small. I know the schedule makes a difference, and I know these types of capital investment and buying equipment are huge decisions that could make or break the company. And one of the big decisions they made was to continue to invest in North Carolina. And we need to give them another round of applause because they have confidence in North Carolina, and we need to reward them for that confidence. So please give Jim and You know what? The Carolina comeback continues, and it continues with Catawba County leading the way. You know, just three years ago, just three years ago, Catawba County's unemployment rate was over 11%. Three years ago, Catawba County's unemployment rate was over 11%. I'm pleased to report today you're about at 4.5%. It's one of the largest because of manufacturing, 
And a lot of people gave up on manufacturing in North Carolina and our country during the last decade. We should never give up on manufacturing. Manufacturing is the, is the heart of North Carolina, that agriculture. And I'm proud to say that. It's always not high tech or biotech and things. Manufacturing is extremely important. Now, manufacturing is getting high tech, and it's extremely high tech. But manufacturing, where you make things, where you build things, where you innovate things, where you produce things, this is, this is the strength of America. And to have made in North Carolina continue to expand in our great state and then sent to the rest of the nation and the rest of the world is an attribute, first of all, to these men and women in blue. Because I'm guarantee you right now, Jim and the board would not have made this decision until, unless they could get the talent to come here and to live here and to make this their home. And more than anyone else, even more of the board, more of you, Jim, and I think you would agree with this, we need to give another round of applause for the men and women in blue. <laughs> I need to also say, yesterday we did have a proud announcement. Uh, and it's an announcement that's going to help North Carolina nonwovens across the state. And we just uh, announced a wonderful CSX intermodal facility in Rocky Mountain. Rocky Mountain's an area that hasn't rebounded as quick as others. And it's a huge announcement for the Twin Counties areas in Wilson and Rocky Mountain, Edgecombe County, and Nash County. And uh, they've been through some very difficult times, just like the Tahoe County, Caldwell County, and others. Uh, because they relied on manufacturing, but now it's coming back. And to have this new logistics facility is going to not only make a difference for that area, it's going to make a difference for companies like we're honoring today, because it's going to make it cheaper to transport their materials and their products, not just through the Carolinas, but in and around the country. This is going to be the state-of-the-art facility that will be second to none. There's another one in Ohio. There's another one in Baltimore. And this facility will also have an impact even on this region. Because in addition to that, we just opened up what we call the Carolina Connector between Wilmington and Charlotte and all the way to Asheville. And this will help connect this area of the state, the west, all the way to Wilmington. And the port is extremely important. And one of my... Uh, major goals as governor is what we call NC Connect. There's no town or county that can stand on an island by itself. We've got to connect these towns and counties with good roads, good rail, and good ports. And if we don't do that, these towns will not survive. And so the connection also between Wilmington and the Charlotte region is going to be extremely important for companies like this especially rail. We're putting the state of North Carolina, I made a commitment, we're going to put more money in roads and infrastructure, and I added infrastructure, and that includes rail. As of yesterday, we're going to put $100 million new dollars into rail in North Carolina, and that's going to help companies like this great company right here in North Carolina and right here in Caldwell County. So uh, we need to have your continued support of that effort. Um, I just want to say also, your community college, Community, Catawba Valley Community College. I first want to thank the people of this region who supported the bonds. Um, our technical institutes, our community college, I still call them technical institutes, frankly. I like that name. Because the main reason for our community college was to support industry. And, and I'm making sure that we put that as our major goal. But you've got a great community college here. And to have you support the bond effort, in fact, in the bond, I think you're going to get about $62.2 million new dollars for Catawba Valley Community College. And uh, that's going to be extremely important to make sure that we get the talent needed to uh, meet the workforce needs of this plan and other plans that hopefully will spread throughout this industrial forum right here at Maine. So we've got some great vision for the future, and we've got to keep um, building the relationships that we have with Jim and their board and the entire community. Your mayor and chairman of the county commission and the elected officials, I'm telling you, they did a super job. And I'd like to thank my Commerce Department for also helping out speed this process up. We're learning the quicker you move and adapt to the schedules that the private sector needs, 
the more success you're going to have. Not the other way. It's the private sector shouldn't have to adapt to government. Government needs to adapt to the private sector. And that's the change in philosophy that we're bringing to North Carolina. And that means I get to compete against South Carolina and Nikki Haley. <laughs> Nikki Haley's a good friend, but we like to beat each other. Believe me, South Carolina would love to have this plant right across the board. But guess what? Catawba County won the plant. They did come to see I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell. <laughs> when I got elected, when I got elected, Nikki Haley and I, we were together one time. She was actually helping me get reelected or get elected for the first time. And, and she whispered to me, this is three years ago, she said, you know, Pat, we don't even consider North Carolina competition anymore. Your corporate tax is too high. Your income tax is too high. Your regulations are too extreme. Things of this nature. And I said, Governor, when I get elected, we're going to kick your tail in South Carolina. <laughs> and she said, may the best woman win. <laughs> so guess what? The best woman won right here. <laughs> so on behalf of the state of North Carolina, and on behalf of the Congress Department, John Scabarl, and by the way, Sharon Decker was my first Congress Secretary, right from Lincoln, Lincolnton, right down the road. Um, we're proud of uh, this teamwork that made this happen, and may we have a great 100 years or more at this wonderful, wonderful site. God bless you, Sheriff. Great seeing you, too. Thank you all very much. I want to get you another, another North Carolina flag here. It's going to be delivered to your plant, but I also want to give you a special China plate that I'd like you to display. Oh, Mr. Chairman, you can give it to our chair of Paris. Mr. Chairman, I'd like you to display this plate in New York. <laughs> I want you to show New York and Governor Cuomo. <laughs> Here, let, let me uh, tell him his commercials aren't working. <laughs> we're honored to have you, and we're 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 thank you for your confidence in North Carolina, and we do love New York. And you, thank you for all you've done for us. I wouldn't be here for one of the wonderful things that you've done here to enhance everything in this higher place. It's North Carolina. Thank <laughs> you. 